Here's a quick baby update. She's really not doing all that great. She just kind of loses her balance, but uh, I've been in contact with the vet. Um, showed her a couple videos, especially with her change in the way she does that whoa meow. It's very muffled now. Um, it's highly possible she just might have an ear infection, but on top of that, cats, after suffering from hyperthyroidism, um, apparently start to lose their hearing, and I think she might be deaf. Um, maybe, maybe slight, slight sounds, um... But then I could probably be throwing off her balance. But she, as you can see, she is, I mean, her tail is pretty active. She is eating and and, and going to the bathroom um, pretty well. She did jump on the bed last night for a little while, and she was powering. But she just, it took a while to just get her to even pick her head up, which... I may have to get her in, or may may force the vet to see her quicker. Um, but I only trust the one vet um, that she's been seeing for well over ten years out of her sixteen and a half. Um, but I have her surrounded by her original, her original mouse, this guy, and this this little lion guy who looks kind of like Daniel Lion from Mister Rogers' Neighborhood. If I'm dating myself. And then, of course, brought over Master Yoda again. Um, maybe some force healing powers. And she always liked this little cr Christmas elf mouse. This little um, this little uh, outfit here. She would always uh, pull off, um, especially if I put catnip on it. And I did buy a new catnip spray, and I she she didn't even smell it, so it's. It's also possible she's got a sinus infection, even though she's not really sneezing. Um, she uh, didn't even sniff it. Um, I also do believe she might have a tooth issue on the right side because it seems to be very sensitive, and that could be why she didn't want to eat her treats. But uh, I'm just hoping for the best. Um, but this is me just coping today. Um, it's not even 6 o'clock in the morning, I think, or just at 6. Um, buddy on the other hand, he, he's hanging in there. He's doing well. He was laying on the floor. I was going to try out right after this, see how, um, how that new catnip spray that I bought affects him. I do have some other shorts of him. Uh, he, he was doing zoomies yesterday. I didn't really catch that, but I caught some of it. So I don't know how good that's going to look, but I just wanted to give an update on baby. Um. We all are praying and hoping things will work out, but you know, as, as they get old, you know, and especially, especially baby with her special needs, with with the thyroid, possibly other things, it, she, she doesn't look. This, this is an area that she, um, that's the thyroid thing affects and. Um, I'm at a loss for words right now. Um, you know, everybody who's who's had pets, you know, go possibly go through this. You know, I'm still hoping for the best, but um, if you know the worst happens, I, I'm intending on either way. Um, I downloaded some software that that will merge videos, so I'll. I'll be making a compila compilation of baby videos that, that all, all of her videos, um, either, either with her or, or with Buddy, because some of those are great moments, um, all together into one. Um, and not for a while, because uh, I kind of want to get them in order so they look good, and I don't know how to use that software yet. Um and I don't know what else. Um, 
I'm going to try to get this up online shortly um, and, and rush this one, but keep the well wishes coming and rope for the best. I mean, yeah, um, I mean, I could yell right now and I don't think she'll hear me. Like, look, um, her ears not even twisting, you know, um, so oh, poor baby girl. She's 16, she would be 17. She will be 17 in October. I mean, not many cats do make it that far, but I mean, they do live till over 20. But, you know, this little girl, she's put up a fight for well over five years with the hyperthyroid. And if she didn't, ex she didn't run away for two weeks back then, and I never caught her. Um, she, she would not be in these videos. Um, the only thing I feel bad about is, I mean, outside of this is I wish I would have started that YouTube channel 10 years ago, you know, when, cause I, I lost a lot of other videos with, with a hard drive crash and, and there's a possibility I have had backups. I'm sorry, baby, had backups on, um, a DVD or a CD, I have to go through a bunch, and right now I'm not in that frame of mind, especially with other things in my personal life, but, um, sorry for rambling, um, and sorry for this sort of a somber video, but, um, like I said, hope for the best, try to get her in sooner. Dr. Quaz is a very good vet, um. And, I, and I, it's going to be a shout out to my mom right here too. Um, when when I had Pippin, and then there's only one video of him on on the uh, YouTube on the YouTube channel. Um, it's, it's one of the earliest ones. I think I posted it like four or five years ago. Uh, but it was from maybe I don't know exactly. It's one of the originals. So just if you go if you want to go find it, just um. Just uh, select the main playlist of a buddy and baby, and if it can be sorted by date, we're just scroll all the way down to the bottom, uh, one or the other. It's uh, I I had found it after he had passed away, but it was him playing. Um, it's kind of short, but you can see how the similarities between him and him and Buddy are. Uh, they were big cats, and. Uh, uh, I had to bring my mother to the vet with me that day when we knew. And unfortunately, baby being sick, and today's July 2nd, um, I, I let Pippin go on July 3rd. So um, just knowing that it's a possibility that they both go on the same day hurts. Um, anyway, I, I need to stop this now. Uh, Thank you all for watching, and like I said, this is kind of me coping, and I know all of you guys like love baby as much as you love buddy. Uh, thank you all again. It's okay, baby.